All right, today let's have a look at this uh, trigonometry identity question. Okay, this is um, STPM or matriculation level. So basically it will be uh, slightly harder than the SPM. But I think if you are SPM student or IGCAC student, you should be able to solve this question as well. But, uh, yeah, and I always want my student to actually see more difficult questions. So let's have a look at this question. So we have some power four here. And then we want to prove the whole thing is equals to one. Definitely, we will always choose the side with more information. So in this case, we will choose the left hand side. So we just write a left hand side here. So there's very hard for us to start from one and get all these terms. So that's not possible. I will choose the right hand side. Okay. Before I start to do, um, I just want to give you some basic idea. So the cos second x is basically is one over sine x. You just see the third letter one two three. You see the s here is one over sine x. And same idea for cotangent x is basically is our third letter one two three is t so it's one over tangent x but at the same time we know tangent is equal to sine over cos isn't it so this one we can change to cos x over sine x so for cotangent x you actually have two choice here so which is one over tangent or cos over sine so same idea some student might worry so how about power two or power four here is the same idea so if today i have cos second power 4x so it's basically it's 1 over sine power of 4x so same idea if i have cotangent square x so i can say is cos square x over sine square x all right so uh, just in case you do not know so like sine power 4x is actually same idea with sine x power of 4 okay this is the way we will write in the trigonometry so but they are the same meanings here all right so here is every basic um I want you to know here. Okay, let's try to prove it's equals to one here. So the first idea is um definitely I will change this one into the one over sine power of four x first, and then I multiply both of them. And then because everything is sine and cos, right? So therefore for cotangent I will ignore about one over tangent. I will use cos over sine. Okay, minus two, and then this one will be cos square x over sine square x. All right, then I will just expand the bracket as usual. So this one should be, um, the whole thing will be one minus cos power four x over sine power four x. All right, here, I want to make them have the same denominator so I can join, the, uh, join them into one whole fraction. So what I will do is I will multiply sine square x here. I will multiply sine square x for numerator and denominator at the same time. All right, so therefore, uh, if I want to join them, I can because right now it's sine power four x, isn't it? So top here, I should have something like uh call minus two cos square x. Okay, at the same time, because sine square, I can change it into the one minus cos square, isn't it? Why I want to change because on the numerator here, um, I have everything in terms of cos, so I guess it's good to have everything in cos. So I do not want to have the sine square here. So what I will do is for the sine square, I will change it into one minus cos square x. Okay, just in case some of you like curious how, how kind of can change because has, uh, at identity, we have a formula called sine square x plus cos square x equals to one. So therefore, sine square, I can change it into the one minus cos square. All right, then the whole thing will divide by cos power four. All right, then I will just expand the minus cos square into the both, that, both of them. So I get one minus cos power four x. This one multiply one is minus two cos square x. This one multiply in, I will get plus two cos, uh, two cos power four x, isn't it? Cos power four x divided by sine power four x here. Okay, sine power of 4x, I think I can change them into sine square x multiply with sine square x because um, later I guess I kind of need to expand them, so I better expand now. All right, then what we want to do now is um, okay, we, we have two terms like cos power of 4, definitely we can simplify them. Like we have 2 minus 1, we still have 1 of it, isn't it? So it's like 1 minus 2 cos square x. So I still have a cos power of 4x over. So this one, um, if I want to do, I can change both of them into the something like one minus cos square x, uh, multiply with one minus cos square x. Okay, so, um, okay, for on the top here, you should know this one is basically is a 
uh, factorization, isn't it? So this is something like something like one minus um, x square plus x power four. So we know we can easily like factorize become a uh, one, uh, which is like one minus x square power of two. So if we do something like this, okay, this is two x square. Sorry, because it's two cos square x, isn't it? We just imagine that like cos square x is just like x square. This is one minus two x square plus x power four. So yeah, if we factorize them, this one, if you expand, you get one minus two x square plus x power four, isn't it? So this is exactly what I want to do now. So I know this is sort of the quadratic equation. I will factorize them, become one minus cos square x power of two. So my, my denominator is one minus cos square x power of two as well. Okay, if you see carefully, yeah, this one, they are the same thing, isn't it? Then I can just simplify them and I will get one. Just now when they want me to show, right? I will say proven because eventually if I get one, that means I can prove it. Because if you see carefully here, they actually ask you to prove the whole thing will equals to one. So when you do that time, you must be uh, very careful especially when you expand them, you want to make sure um, you don't make any kind of mistake because a little bit mistake will actually lead to a different answer. So yeah, as long as you do carefully, yeah, this kind of question is actually not really hard. So anyways, I hope this like short video can help you understand better about trigonometric identity. I will post more video to help you understand better. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.